Okay, so time to finish this off. I'm playing with um, highlighting and making bold some of the underpaintings. And then erasing selective parts out, softening edges. So much we can do. Just to strengthen the overall composition. We even paint some in. I want to add final highlights. To the eyes, because we have a lot of contrast now in the background. Gosh, and that sketch almost isn't needed at all. It's almost a shame to have it. Let's see. So let's paint with bigger brush, higher opacity. Let's increase the flow a little bit. Play with some of those through lines. And let's put highlights. The eyes show a little bit. Um, clone stamp from all layers. You can take certain things, bring them in. Let's see. Where else might that be helpful? Add a little bit of variation. Not at full opacity. Okay.
So I'm going to do an, a new layer. I'm just going to try something at a low opacity. Now, uh, let's see. I'll do it with the brush. Oh, well, maybe I can do it with the clone stamp if I choose something that's kind of dark all the way through. Yeah, low opacity, smaller size. I'm going to try to draw some of the lines I think are important for the uh, for the sketch and see if I can minimize that sketch a little bit. So this gives the sketch some color. I think is important. That's basically just restating certain parts of it. with the clone stamp tool, which is kind of an interesting way of trying to do it. And the idea is that should allow me to minimize the sketch layer. instead have it with that clone stamp layer a little bit where it's most needed. So where else is it needed? Really, the lips are the biggest area where the sketch is needed, in my opinion. And a little bit of the structure around the mouth, so why don't I just take that, and I like it in the eyes. Really, all of this. <laughs> why don't I just duplicate that? Yeah. I don't need that full sketch all the time. And there are parts of it I really like in here, I think are needed. Maybe not all of it. And that allows me then play with the sketch in a slightly different way. Like maybe put it on color burn and take its opacity down. Yeah. And it doesn't feel as intrusive. Okay. So 
save your progress as you go. So the last thing, parts of it feel like they're just kind of filled in to be filled in. So I'm gonna do something a little, little crazy. Go over the top of everything. Use this kind of main inspiration in a slightly different way. <laughs> Let's see. Put it in like that. I'm going to select all the empty space around it. I'm going to say edit fill with content aware just so it has kind of equalizing. So I don't have those hard edges in the same way everywhere. But you still sort of get them, right? So let me grab these. And say, fill content aware. All right. So now I'm going to auto tone that with contiguous turned on, try to select the empty space around, and then subtract from that with the lasso things on the inside. And add to that and this vague shape here. Okay. Select the inverse, duplicate it. Okay. Now, basically, contiguous turn back off. I want to select all that space, fill it with white. This is just to question whether I really need that whole background filled in to have the, the kind of impression I want. And soften that a little bit. Let's look at an edge. So this is using it to overlay. In some ways, that's quite nice. I'm not loving it on the bottom. And of course, I do want to get rid of 